job, puppies. Oh, hello, Rain. Hello, little fat chunky. Hi, Thunder Boy. Hi, big guy. Ready? I'm as ready as I'm gonna be, baby. <laughs> okay. So, hi, Kat here with Standing Stone Kennels, and we're here with another pup date on the Nutty Benny Litter. If you haven't been following along with these little guys, you should be. So make sure to subscribe to our channel, turn on notifications, and check out the playlist where we're showing you everything that we're doing with this litter of puppies. These guys are almost five weeks old, and they are turning into a bunch of hooligans, it looks like. You're messing up your bedding. It's supposed to be all laid out nice. You got your toys in here, yes. And you're starting to go potty all the time. We've been changing bedding quite frequently, cleaning the whelping box, and they are still making messes because that's what puppies do, right guys? That's right. Well, these guys are about ready for dinner. Uh, we've switched to feeding them twice a day now, still making puppy mush, uh, making sure there's no real big chunks. But let me just grab Thunder here real quick and show you his little teethers are coming in so much better. Oh, uh, yeah, you can see those. Yeah. Oh, Sprinkle. She said it was my turn. Yeah. <laughs> but they are getting bold and confident and so, so playful. <laughs> you little viciousies. So adorable. So we are gonna let these guys play around a little bit while I make some puppy mush, then we're gonna feed them, and then today is the day that they are going to go outside for the first time to hopefully do some of that pottying that they've been doing in here out there. And this is gonna be the very, very starting stages of potty training this litter. So we will start to get in the habit of feeding them, then letting them out to potty because what goes in usually comes out very quickly afterwards. So if we can start them learning that, hey, we start going outside to go to the bathroom, that's gonna start that potty training process for these puppies and this litter at just under five weeks old. So we're gonna get puppy mush started and you can watch what that looks like today. So <laughs> you're a little too close there, too close for comfort. So I'm gonna get my warm water started. Too far away, too far away, come back, come back. Um, but I'm gonna get my um, warm water started because I'm gonna need that to dissolve my puppy um, milk replacer. So I'm gonna get my warm water started and then I'm gonna grab my puppy food which we're using Yukonuba large breed puppy formula. And I'm gonna get about uh, half a blender cup of this, which is what we've been doing so far. Like I said, we moved from once a day feeding to twice a day feedings though. So um, they're getting this amount twice a day and we'll see how well they eat that all up. So I got my saucepan over here, got my food, need my lid because we know what kind of a disaster that can be without a lid. Check my water, it's not quite warm. Sometimes the water takes a little bit of time to warm up down here because we're a little bit farther away from the water heater. And then I've got my puppy milk replacer. So I'm gonna start by getting my food blended up. Back and forth and back and forth. Here's my warm water, it's coming in strong. Warm water, blender cup with a blender ball just helps to get that formula, that powdered formula mixed up really well. And again, I'm getting about a half of a blender bottle. So when we've shown you how to make puppy mush in the past, it hasn't necessarily been about this is the exact amount of food and this is the exact amount of puppy um, formula because A, it depends on how much they're eating, what size my litter is, and that consistency that we need this puppy food to be at certain stages of their development. So. First, we're gonna get our food blended up into a nice fine powder while it's dry. So we're gonna blend and shake, blend and shake, babe. Close the lid. I know, 
this could probably go a lot faster and be a lot more efficient if I invested in like a super duper quality high speed ninja or something like that. But we got Hamilton Beach from Walmart for $14.99. Thank you. <laughs> I think we're pretty well blended. We'll go ahead and dump that out in our little saucepan. This allows the puppies to get all the way around into the food because believe me, they will step in this food dish and then also um, not allow it to tip and spill over. So again, we've got a couple really big chunks. I'm gonna pull those out. I don't have to be quite so concerned with all the pieces, but these are still, like you can see, pretty much whole kibble at this point. And I need to pull those out and either give them another little blend um, or just pull them out completely. But soon the chunks can get a little bit bigger because those teeth, like I showed you on Thunder, are really starting to come in. So just get a few of the bigger pieces out, but they will start learning to crunch here pretty darn soon. So maybe do a few more of those pieces ground up. Put it in right. There we go. Okay, we'll see what we got there and call her good. Good. So most of those pieces got broke up really good. Now I'm going to add my milk replacer to my warm water. Again, like we talked about in our last video, it's not so much about making a specific ratio. I want this to be a nice milky consistency, but because we're not solely supplementing these puppies, Muddy's still doing a great job of nursing them. And um, as you can see, they're very fat and sassy. So we're not super concerned with an exact amount, but if we were just bottle feeding them and they needed that extra, I'd wanna make sure that I'm following the mixing directions for that puppy milk replacer, but. Now, I'm gonna make sure my lid is nice and tight so I don't shake the milk replacer all over myself. Can you tell I might have done that before since I'm being very concerned with closing the lids? So, toss my milk replacer back in the fridge. I don't know if we mentioned that in the first video, but once you open your milk replacer, it needs to be refrigerated. So, shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. And pop. Where's my fork? There's my fork. It's a dingle hopper, right? If you know that movie reference, put it in the comments. Bonus points. So we're gonna start with that. I've still got a little milk replacer in there in case I need to make it a little soupier, but we're gonna start with this. Mix it all around, get it all slushy. There we go. Okay, I'm not gonna need to add the rest of that milk replacer, it doesn't look like, but you can see a few of the pieces are a little bit bigger now from when we did this first go around about a week ago now. Um, and the puppies have more teeth, so the crunching is able to be done with these size pieces, so. Okay guys, I'm going to go ahead and pull their toys so they don't get their toys in the food and then go ahead and let them devour that. No waking them up this time. They were all about getting involved and starting eating right away. So over here, we've got Sprinkle. I'm just gonna talk about their coloration too while they're nibbling here. Um, Sprinkle, like we talked about, her ticking is coming in pretty dark. Her tip of her tail still is pretty white, um, but that ticking, you can see individual ticking spots now still. Whereas here on Mist, you see how dark her shoulder area is. Still some ticking spots through her sides and inner feet, but this forearm part and her shoulders are very dark. That's gonna continue to darken and be almost completely roaned out um, as she continues to develop. Did I distract you, little Missy? Did I distract you, little Missy? Yes, need some lovies. I'll put her back in the rotation, get her going on some food again. Do you wanna go on the other side? Here, we'll put you on the other side. There you go. And then look at Thunder here. She's like, oh, hairball. 
Um, then Thunder here, he's got a lot of ticking in through his shoulders and his legs and a very high rein. She says, don't leave me out. And the very tip of his tail is white. And then Rain says, I need the attention. And goodness, she is a sausage little fat puppy, which is not a bad thing at this age. Uh, we don't want them to get too fat, but she's definitely got a nice uh, thick waist right now. But she's got a huge saddle over her. But then her ticking, you can see that. Not, not as dark as like mist in her shoulders, but pretty dark still in her legs and her arms up there in her shoulder area. So Mist. Are you full? Are you done already? <laughs> She's like, I'm done. As our son Aiden would say, done. Because we've been teaching him sign language for um, telling us signs of when he's done with things. So let me just go ahead and move Mist back over to the food pan for a little bit more. See if she's interested in getting involved with some more munches or just some more cuddles. Look at that cute little face. Cute puppy face. Not a very messy puppy face. They're getting a lot neater about eating up their food. And she says she might be about done. She might take another little nibble. But all of these puppies have really great weights. You can see on them, nobody looks thin at all. Still giving them opportunity to eat if they want it. But it looks like we're slowing down, doing a little more playing. Um, but, so I gave them a certain amount of food. They're not eating at all. They don't need to eat everything that we're giving them at this point. However, if they're done eating, I can let Muddy back in to clean it up. Um, or I can just pull it at this point. And because we're gonna start that potty training process, since they're slowing down, I'm going to actually get them outside sooner rather than later so we can try and develop that potty training habit. So let me grab my little laundry basket. I'm using laundry basket for transportation at this point just because it's only a litter of four, so it's a pretty small litter, and that allows me to carry them a little bit easier still at this, at this point. So. Sprinkle, come here, thunder boy. Come here, Rain. Come on, baby. Come on, come on. Stay in there, guys. Mist, really? Come here, Misty. You tell me your mind, huh? Oh, baby girl. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and take them outside. So follow along. Whew. These guys are getting heavy. Oh my goodness. Okay. So we've got a nice, beautiful evening here for these guys. We're going to go ahead and set them down in the grass. And I'm just going to take them out one at a time here. And they're like, ooh, grass. What is it? Check it out. So this is completely new to them. This is all part of proper socialization of a litter. These guys haven't been outside yet. So this is new. The grass feels different. The air feels different. The lighting is different. And this is all something that we need to expose them to and get them used to. So you guys are all sitting there. So cute. Pull my microphone wire out of my pocket. Make sure I'm my microphone's still plugged in. We're still going. Good job, guys. Hey, Rain. Sprinkles, Thunder, Misties. Yeah, you don't need to get in my lap. So I'm not gonna necessarily let them climb up in my lap. We've done a ton of socialization with these guys and with these puppies, um, with ourselves already and handling them. So they're very comfortable with us and I want them to get comfortable out here. So I'm here, but I'm not necessarily letting them climb up in my lap for safety and protection. Um, I'm not gonna coddle them because they don't need to be coddled. There's nothing scary out there here. There's nothing that can hurt them. There's truly nothing to be afraid of. So we're just gonna let them wander around and get you to it. As you can see, like thunder and sprinkle and rain and mist, they're all now up, walking around, a little gingerly still, but walking around, tails are coming up. So tails are starting to wiggle waggle all over the place, <laughs> starting to spunk around. 
took a very, very short amount of time for them to get comfortable in this environment. So this is why socialization is so important. Building bold, confident puppies up so that they can say, all these new experiences are fun, exciting, things to not be overwhelmed or concerned about. So, oh, do you see a potty happening? Already we got a puppy poop outside. This is exactly, and Sprinkles peeing, and we've got another poop coming from Thunder. Now it's just Rain's turn, and this is exactly what we want to start happening is for these puppies to start going pee and poop outside. It's the beginning of puppy potty training. So we're excited for puppy poop, right? Um, why not? And at this point, you know, I'm watching their puppy stool and monitoring it and making sure that it all still looks good. Uh, we'll be doing a fecal definitely before they go home just to make sure that we don't have anything going on. But right now I'm not seeing anything to be concerned about. It's just normal puppy poop. We're getting real confident, playing tails up, wagging, pouncing around, spunking around. I think uh, I definitely would have to say that day one of outside time is a success. We've had potties. We've gotten bold and confident. We're barking and spunking around, exploring and getting confident enough to leave my side and do a little bit of this uh, exploring independently. These are all really great signs and things we love seeing out of our puppies. That's right, guys. Well, guys, you can take a few minutes to keep watching these cute puppies play. I definitely am because they are so cute. I just want to experience this with them for as long as possible. But we're going to let them do a little more playing and then bring them back into their whelping box with Mama. But thank you again for watching. I'm Kat, the dog trainer. This is our Muddy Benny puppy litter development series. So if you've missed any, go ahead and check out our playlist as well as subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of their upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.